Hello there, welcome back. This is a review stroke kind of product overview for this fella. I bought this about a month or so ago from Amazon. It's a Swacky, Swacky mini jump starter for my car, or should I say for my van. Over the years, I've always had vans and every winter they generally don't start. So this year, I decided I wasn't going to have that problem again. So I bought one of these lads, I replaced the battery, brand new battery, and I also replaced the starter motor as well, so now it just fires up, bang, straight away. So really, you'd be thinking there's no need for this lad, but it has a multitude of uses. First of all, I'll just open this box up and let you see what comes with it. Okay, that's the box. Swacky Mini Jump Starter T6 And in here we've got clamps for jump starting a car or van or boat We've got the main storage battery itself which also has a built-in flashlight which is pretty bright, very bright LED it's got standard mode, which just allows it to be on, use it as a torch. Press the on button again, it's got SOS. Press it again, it has a strobe. That's where you plug the charger in, charge it up from your mains. It can also be charged from your cigarette lighter in your car. Plug that in there, that goes in your cigarette lighter. It's got two USB outlets, so you can charge small devices such as video cameras, phones, tablets and so on. There we go, it's in the process of charging up my phone. And you can charge two devices at the same time with it, which is very useful. And that little hole on the end there, is where you plug the clamps into. Now this is very easy to use, but it does come with a small instruction booklet in numerous languages. All tucked away nicely in a small, hard plastic case. I'll show you how it starts the van with the battery taken completely out of the equation. Which probably isn't how you're supposed to use it, but I want to give it a really brutal test. <laughs> Connected it up to one side of my good battery, and I've taken the other side completely off. So the negative is not connected to the battery at all, it's just connected to the wire that fits on top of the battery. So it's all on this thing to start this van. And I personally don't think it's going to do it, but we'll give it a go. Well this little fella started the van first time, so I'm impressed at that. Right, that's the battery connected back up as it should be, and as I say this is a good battery which I took out of the equation for the test. Uh, I'll just let you listen to how the van normally starts up. Now obviously that fired up a hell of a lot quicker than it did just with the jump starter, it was basically nothing flowing through that battery to help this little fella and it still managed to start the van. It's approximately 5 or 6 degrees centigrade today so it's pretty cold. It's not as if I'm starting it in the middle of summer or something where you just turn the key boom and it's away. It takes a little bit more to start a heavy diesel engine in the winter. If you've ever had problems starting a vehicle you'll know that it's very very rare that you turn the key and there's absolutely nothing at all left in the battery. So there's going to be something left in your battery, even if it's not enough to make the starter motor fire things up. With this fella helping, you'll not have a problem starting the vehicle at all. And this is quite a heavy engine, it's a 1.9 or a 2.1, roughly a 2 litre engine, diesel. So it takes a lot more turning over than a petrol engine. I actually fired it up 4 or 5 times just with this fella. And it did reduce the lights on the side of it by either one or two. So it did take a bit of juice out of here to fire it up, but it worked. 
and that would have got me out of numerous scrapes if I'd had one of these years ago. I don't know how many times I've asked people to jump start me or push me along and I go down a hill and bump start it. <sighs> We've all been there. It does exactly what it says on the box at a fairly reasonable price. I think this 12,000 version was around about 35 English pounds. There's also a 16,000 version as well, so it's a battery with more capacity. I cannot remember exactly how much that is, but if you check out the Amazon link in the video description, it'll have them in there. Definitely don't regret getting this, and it will be kept in my van. Also contemplating getting one for my wife as well, because she has a habit of leaving lights on. One of these days it's going to run down the battery and she's going to be stuck. So for the sake of 35 quid, it might save me a long trip to pick her up and rescue her. <laughs> Just a very quick note, before I mentioned that it would start cars and vans, mine's quite a heavy van. I also mentioned boats, and I would imagine if you had a boat, it's not the sort of thing that's going to be going every single day or even once a week. It might stand for months. So I'm not quite sure how you go on with boats. Do you take the battery with you? when you go out on your boat or something and then connect it up so you know that it's working. I don't know. You might not have to do that. You might just be able to leave your battery connected to your boat and just take this lad, connect that, fire it up. I don't know. But it could be very useful for boats. I'd imagine it would be very useful for people who like to be kind of prepping and so on as well. Anything to do with jump starting cars, Having some sort of storage capacity for electricity, this seems to do it all, it seems to tick all the right boxes. So all you preppers out there may want to check this out. Thanks very much for watching, catch you in the next video.